Join me for today's 10 minute challenge where I'm gonna see how fast I can paint these echinacea plants. So the purpose of the challenge is to try to paint as loosely as I can to, in order to improve my speed and accuracy. So this is not intended to be a complete painting that you would hang on your wall, not a studio version, so to speak. This is just a fun exercise to see how little information I can get onto that canvas to still give you the idea or the impression that this is actually a flower. I'm gonna set my timer to 10 minutes and I have to be very strict about this. At the end of this 10 minutes, I have to be done with this painting. So it's gonna be kind of stressful and a lot of fun. And here we go. Ooh, boy, what do I do? Who knows? Okay, so I'm gonna try to tackle those flowers first. And whoops. I'm gonna try to just get a little bit of an impression of these flowers, lighten up that color just a little bit. And I'm gonna be using a monstrous brush to try to get these in because I don't have time for details. Oh my. This is really nice painting with this big brush because I, I can't, I physically, even if I could paint and, and draw this, these flowers extremely well, the fact is the brush is limiting me because it's so large on this tiny little eight by 10 canvas that I'm using that I could not possibly get the details in. So highly suggest using a large brush to, 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 you know, that'll keep you from trying to like put in like so much detail. So this is ridiculous. Now this is only the second time I've ever done this challenge, just full disclosure. Uh, this is something that I picked up out of uh, a book from uh, one of my favorite artists, Haiti Jo Summers, uh, in, in her oil painting book. She suggests that artists, no matter where you are in your, in your painting journey, do this exercise. And it, it had not occurred to me that I hadn't, I hadn't heard of this before, I hadn't, um, hadn't done it, um, because after doing this just one time, I see the absolute value of this. Uh, and now I just think it's so much fun that I wanna do it every day when I paint, like, like as a warm up, you know? There's another artist named Mark Fellman who I was watching a video of him the other day, and he, he mentioned like, um, you know, doing a warm up, like athletes will warm up uh, when they, when, before they do have a sporting event or before they practice. And I thought, man, wow, this exercise of Haiti Joe's could be great anytime you're out painting to warm up. You do a 10 minute painting before the main event. Uh, and I just think that that is gonna be a lot of fun here. I'm gonna add a little, I'm using a little color called asphaltum to try to work to get the tops of these echinacea in here. So let's see if I can I mean, I'm not looking for complete accuracy in color. I'm just trying to get something in there that gives you the impression that this is a flower. So maybe I can get these little heads on. The other thing I'm trying not to do is to paint on top of other paint. So um, I'm trying to... Um, just trying to lay in paint, um, not in layers for this particular exercise. Uh, just to try to get this in. And this brush is very, very large for this particular topic. So I'm actually, for, I'm actually gonna switch, switch brushes a little bit just to get in. Okay, Ooh, six minutes. Now this clock, it goes fast, right? I mean, you think 10 minutes could be a lot of time, but yeah. Not so, I'm already several minutes. Shoot, I even got that in the wrong place. Guess what, another flower is gonna live there because I just uh, just made a boo-boo, so now there's gonna be a secondary flower. <laughs> anyway, all right, oops. Puppies, got my dogs in the background. They're wanting to get outside and see what I'm doing, so. Oh, shoot, all right. Pay attention to your paint. I just went into the wrong pile of paint again, so. 
all right. But over time, theoretically, these paintings are gonna get more accurate and better, but right now I'm just looking for absolute extreme impressionism where I don't have much, if any, detail. So, all right, so let's go for a little, let's go for a little bit of light on the edges, so. Trying to just, like again, I'm trying not to overlap my paint so much, just trying to flick it right next to it. Kind of part of the part of my rule. So you can set your own challenge rules for you. Just make sure that you follow them and be strict about it so that you get the maximum benefit of uh, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish that day. I'm trying to use the minimum amount of strokes I can on a painting and just get this basic idea. Because what I'm, if, if you've painted with me in the studio before, or if you watched other videos, you'll know that what I'm trying to do is paint as loosely as I can, because I have a tendency to try to paint too tight. And the more detail you put into a painting, sometimes your paintings just completely fall apart because you're trying to do too much. And so I'm learning to paint a little bit looser, or a lot of, a lot of bit looser, so that, um, you know, I think that my paintings will just have an overall improvement if I do that. So that's why I'm doing this exercise. So you'll see these very loose paintings um, that are just an enormous amount of fun to do. Okay, so just gonna try to get a little bit of color in here, start working on just some stems. Uh, and I forgot a blue. <laughs> well, too late. I guess I'm dealing with just the two greens and white that I have. I'm not gonna be able to mix robust blues because I forgot to put my blue on. So, four minutes left to try to get these stems. In. Colors are very interesting because these stems have an enormous amount of like a yellow in them. So I'm gonna try to get that in if I can, but with only four minutes left, whew, I am running short on time oh yeah but i'll tell you what this is like just in two days of doing this i'll, I'll be honest with you this is the most fun i've ever had <laughs> painting so if you have an inclination to paint do this do this 10 minute painting challenge it will free you up because what i've noticed is um you don't have time to think about a lot of things um but, you know because we get caught up in all these million million decisions that we're trying to make in a painting we take you know we ended up taking all this time uh you know doing so much detail but here all i'm trying to do is like man i got to figure out what is the most basic information that i can put in here uh in order to get the scene partially in um and it's very freeing it's so much fun so yeah, like to two minutes left oh my god okay all right but clearly you see how basic this is and all right so let's get a little bit of let's get a little bit of ground in here place these little thing to sit and you don't need any detail in this because this is all the unimportant unimportant data right you don't want reader to do it so or the, the viewer i should say the reader the viewer you don't want this to read as anything that they need to spend any time on so i'm okay with being a mess let's get some of this wall oh, one minute Oops, wrong color. Did it again. All right, wow. This is fun, 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 fun. All right. All right, what do I got here? Need a little, probably a little, a little Man, when that timer goes off, I'm, 
I'm done, so I gotta just kind of scratch in some background noise. Pick a simple subject. I mean, that's the thing. That's, you have to pick a simple subject. So trying to do a full, massive scene probably isn't gonna work out so well for you, but if you can uh, get in here and do something simple. Oh, done, 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 done. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. So um, hopefully uh, you can understand that the, these are at least some type of, type of flower. A very impressionistic, very loose, very messy, and an enormous amount of fun. So you absolutely have to do this. I think you're gonna see that your paintings are gonna improve every single day that you do this. This is absolutely a critical exercise.